Alright, well I should probably be getting to bed, but instead I'm going to do some videos. So, oh well. So, this is not a hard problem. So we're going to let phi from G to G be the map given by um, phi of A equals alpha A times A inverse. Where of course alpha is the automorphism this or it, it's as in the problem statement so let's see here phi of a equals one one being the identity of g if and only if alpha a a inverse equals one that holds if and only if multiplying on the both sides by a mm. yeah. why is it not moving now it's moving Okay, this is if and only if uh, alpha a equals a, but that's by definition of phi is if and only if a equals 1. So because of this, we know that the kernel of phi is just the identity element 1, so phi is injective then injections on finite sets are bijections that's basically by process of elimination and so if the norm of G or if the order of G is finite then phi of G ie the image under phi is all of G and so that means precisely that every element of G can be written in the form alpha a times a inverse and so there we go this completes our proof just kidding we are not done with this problem there is something that I missed here okay so let's do this matogelic style in in the last video I made a blunder so please pause the video and try to find the blunder. Are you ready? The blunder is here. Okay, so, okay, enough of that. Uh, kernel of phi being one, meaning that phi is injective. That's not true because that's a thing that happens when um, our function is a group homo homomorphism. And we don't know anything about phi. Phi here is just a function. And so we can't do that. We can't talk about... We, we, we can't use um, any fun, interesting tricks like that. Um, there, there's, no, there's no structure on phi to allow us to use something like the kernel. Um, and it sort of makes sense because the, the problem seemed a little too easy. Um, but anyways. So let's do this the right way. Then V of A equals V of B. This implies that alpha, no, alpha A, A inverse equals alpha B, B inverse which implies that alpha a equals alpha b times b inverse a. Um, but this implies that if we multiply on the left, alpha b inverse alpha a equals b inverse a. But we know that phi, no, we know that alpha is a group homomorphism because it's an automorphism. Uh, it's an automorphism of group, so it's a group homomorphism, and so then this reads alpha b inverse a equals b inverse a. But now uh, we know that the um, phi fixes the unit of g, and so this means that b alpha equals one, i.e. a equals b. And so if phi of a equals phi of b, then a equals b. 
and that is precisely what you need to check in order to prove that a function, such a function phi is injective. And so there we go. After, after making that fix, we now have the correct proof of this problem, and we are done.